So they say the third time is the charm, and I believe in that this is the charm. So, anyways, I ended up praying. And okay, I'm getting on here really quick, and I wanted to just chime in on what God dropped in my spirit really, really, really quick. Um, the last couple of days, I've been really just God just had me on this sabbatical, and in the sabbatical, God has been really, really speaking to me, giving me downloads of different things, what I need to do in my ministry, what I need to do at the church, just things with my personal life, things with my job, just everything. And so, I heard God say to me Friday morning that he was going to blow my mind but he was giving it to me in different parables through dreams just honestly speaking just like showing me things and so god kept saying it he had me do something i got obedient in it and i was like okay but let like, mind is y'all so this a whole entire time that i'm on the sabbatical i'm telling the lord i need him to bring order and balance like i've been speaking that so much i was like god just need order when it comes to work i need to i need balance when it comes to work i need i need to be able to put things in order like it needs to be right so make a long story short as we get through the week got to the end of the week i started really going through i was like oh my god like this is frustrating me the holy spirit was like i just need you to trust me but like i'm really getting ready to bless you so i was like okay you know so saturday comes speed up i didn't want to go to prayer because i was tired i knew how my drive to charlotte what it would do for me and all this other stuff so anyways god would not let me go to sleep and i'm gonna make you laugh where i was i ended up dozing off to sleep for like maybe seven eight minutes so i ended up when I got up, I was I felt more revived and refreshed. So when I got home, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get back in the bed. Got in the bed. God blew my mind. He was like, nah, you're going, you're going to prayer. So I ended up going to prayer. Uh, he told me exactly what to put on. And I'm like, thinking, like, this dress is a little too short. But, you know, God said, as I walked through the door of the church, God said, get the heaviest sheet, meaning the longest sheet, and just wrap yourself in it. So I wrap in it, and God said, I want you to lay prostrate. I see my leader on her face. She crying. She's snotting. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and lay prostrate. So everybody was, like, in different court, in different places of the church. So I laid, you know, where I normally sit at. So I laid there, and I began to pray. I began to, like, really intercede and be seeking God. So God was like, I'm about to blow your mind and I'm going to bless you for your faithfulness. You have been nothing but faithful no matter how hard things have gotten. You stayed faithful. Even when you couldn't understand, you stayed faithful. I need you to catch where I'm going. And so as I'm hearing God and I'm crying, and he was like, I'm getting ready to reward you openly. And I'm like, okay, like God, what is this? So as I'm hearing the Spirit of the Lord giving me, giving me this download and I'm like, okay, God, I got you. Gucci. Great. I get up normally we pray for two hours i mean i'd be like lord i don't even know i can say talk to you that long but let me tell you something we pray about 45 minutes it's funny like i got up and i was just laying and god said just lay there and i was just study praying and he told me he was like y'all about to get up and it's not y'all not gonna be in prayer long so i was like oh okay so we get up make a long story short pastor start talking giving us little accolades she began to anoint our head all the leaders in there and i'm laughing because i'm like where everybody else at ain't nothing but the leaders and so went ahead, God was, you know, using Pastor to give us little accolades and telling us where we going, we going up. And then lowly behold, she drops in, she drops in the atmosphere. God says it's time for y'all to go up. And so we look at each other like, okay, what I mean, I'm thinking like, dang, he just told me that. So she was like, God said it's time for y'all to go up. Like y'all, y'all, I told y'all y'all were going to the next level. This is just nothing but just the leaders in the church. So we were like, oh, okay. So I'm like, and I'm still in a state of shock because I literally, listen y'all, I literally just got out of church and I mean, out of prayer and God was like, I'm going to reward you for your faithfulness. I'm going to reward you openly. And I'm like, okay, like I wouldn't even, you know, so I'm listening to the, the, the way she going, she flowing. And I'm like, all right, she get the knot in our heads. God gave me instruction about the oil. I'm like, all right, cool. Y'all. She kept talking about elevation. Like, she just kept saying, "I'm God said, it's time for y'all to go up. Never really specified what that was for a while. About five, ten minutes, she just kept going, 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 going. So, my leader, she she flows a, a very dynamic, unique, dynamic and unique way. So, I'm like, all right, God. She goes, and finally, it's out of the blue. God was like, I showed you this in a dream. And I was like, what did you show me? I said, you don't show me a lot. But I remember I just went back to this particular dream. And God said, I showed you in the dream what, about, what was about to happen. She just spoke it. She said, God said, it's time to elevate y'all to y'all callings. 
to the next level like god told me to ordain all of y'all license all of y'all so i was sitting there like is this what you was talking about and he was like in my spirit it was so strong and i was like okay so she gave all of us our individual car license we had like a little small one we had our individual license and in the license you know it told all of our titles and i was like and i was still shocked so let me tell you something this is that blew my mind right that was that was the cake but what put the icing on the cake y'all what really what really really did it god was like god told her to tell us i'm ordaining y'all tomorrow mine is this is saturday um september 9th and i'm looking at her like eight o'clock at night she's saying god is god said to elevate y'all sunday we looking like now mine is i'm looking crazy everybody was looking crazy so i'm like okay and i'm like god said just listen so i'm like okay we ended up coming to church the next day which was 8 10 like 9 10 which was yesterday and all of us got ordained and licensed as uh, different titles. We got all of us got different charges. And everything that God had said to me in prayer about He was going to reward me because of my faithfulness, my leader said it to me. So my speed back the, that morning, I got up and I tossed and turned and tossed and turned because I was just like in a state of shock. I wasn't confused. It was just like, this is unusual. But God was saying, expect the unexpected. He, that's what he was telling me for weeks. Just expect the unexpected. Like your, your blessings come. And I was like, okay. And so I got up and I was like, you know, God said, just accept the charge. I said, okay. And so the woman of God had texted me, great friend of mine, and said to me, you know, good morning, and said a little things. But the, the key thing she said to me was, just accept what God allowed. I was like, okay. And I called her, I like, okay, woman of God, what you talking about? And she said, all I hear God said to tell you is just accept what he allows. Just accept it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to accept it. I'm going to accept it. And so I couldn't tell her what God was doing that yesterday, yesterday morning for me, like what he was doing. It was already blowing my mind, but I couldn't even express to her, like even expound on what that was. So anyways, I went ahead and I didn't say nothing. And I was like, well, it's a lot of things that's happening today. She was like, oh, wow, what happened? I said, I can't tell you the after fact. So anyways, I get up out of my sleep and God told me he was giving me the serenity serenity prayer. So it was like, God grant me the serenity to change the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God. And it's something that makes so much sense because I kept hearing that all morning. Like before I went to church all morning, God was serenading my spirit with this particular passage. Like not passage, but this particular prayer. And I kept hearing God say, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And to accept and the courage to accept the things I can. So the first part, as I break it down, God grant me the serenity, grant me the peace, the joy, the understanding, the outlook, the everything. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. And and when God was showing me that, he was showing me just accept what I'm doing. There's things that you can't change, change about my, my will. There's things that you can't change about the, the purpose on your life. There's things that you can't alternate when it comes to my my will. So I said, okay, God. And so I just kept saying, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. And and I got up and I said, okay, God, I came home the night that Saturday and I was like, I ain't even about to question you. I ain't even about to pray about it. Girl, let me tell you, I went, I took a shower, got ready for bed and went to sleep. And in the midst of me sleeping, God said, I'm going to give you peace. Like, I'm going to give you peace about it. So when I woke up, I although it tore just a little bit, not even like much, 
he was already serenading in my spirit as I was waking up. God, grant me the serenity. Grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. Just accept how you are orchestrating, leading in God of my life. Psalms 32 and 8. And it simply talks about God will instruct you in the way that you should go in. Like he will lead in God your every step, like every, your every movement. Whatever it is that God is trying to do, allow him to unfold the blueprint. And it's just like the uh, Wizard of All, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. You often see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of All. The only difference between the wizard, you often see where God, where God is getting ready to take you. And so that's all I kept, I kept hearing was just, you know, allow me to be God. Don't get in my way. Don't touch it. Don't, don't look at it. No nothing. Just let me. I promise you. When I walked in the church yesterday, y'all, I was just like very mind blown and he just kept speaking to me and he was like you you eyes have not seen no ears have not heard what's about to get entered in the heart of man concerning you like they don't even know what i'm getting ready to do and so as i was just getting when i was the last one how they say the last shall be first and the first shall be last well i wasn't first i was last it's all right and so god was like i picked you last for a reason and so as he was molding my spirit, he was just showing me like, now, now you can do what I call you to do. Now you can move in what I'm saying you to do. And then as we get to the end of the serenity prayer, it was like that, those two lines and grant me, grant, you know, and the courage to accept the things I can. And I could, and, and, and the thing that got me about the second part was the conversations I was having. And, like, everybody was happy, you know, the ones that I came across. And, you know, but except the things I can. When God allowed me to have a conversation with someone that I knew, they were, like, very leery. Because I was telling them it was, like, unorthodox. Like, it was unusual. It was just unexpected. Like, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't ask God for that. Like, God put me in that position to to get the charge and so they was like well i don't know about the unexpected now they should have let y'all know i was like but you know what i said and i went back god said now give them the word i gave them exactly what god had given me the illustration i said look god was telling me because i can accept the things and i can have the courage to accept the things i can change and i was changing the mannerism of the conversation i told them i said look God gave me two things. He said, you got to be ready in the word. It said, you got to be ready in season and out of season. It never specified in the word that it told us exactly when Jesus or the disciples were called and commissioned. It never specified the time frame, but we knew that Isaiah was commissioned, right? That's what it said. God commissioned Isaiah the call of jeremiah it never had a time stamp on when god was releasing us to do a work and then god was showing nudging my spirit even more so then i gave him the next revelation i said look check this out now this is what, how god told me because i was like i was very taken back when i finished i was like oh god and he nobody told me he said look think about disciple jesus and the disciples and when they were, when Jesus was getting ready to go uh, to travel, the disciples like, Rabbi, I want to follow you. I want to go where you go. So you know what? You know what Jesus told them? They was like, But first, I need to do this. First, I need to do that. First, I need to do this over here. You know what he told? He said, Let the dead bury his own. So had I had told God, Well, no, I don't think I'm ready. Or God, I need to do this. Or I need to call that person so they can come down and so give them the time frame. God said, But you didn't have time. There will be seasons in your life where you will not have time. And so that was. That God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can. So I was not able to. Um, I was. I had. I had no choice to. Um, I could. I didn't have no choice in the matter of when it came to accepting uh, the charge on my life and the way that God was orchestrating it. I just accepted it for what it was because I. I couldn't turn that around. And then the second part was. God in the courage to accept the things I can't and I could I accepted the things I, I had the authority in my mouth to change that conversation and I told him I said hey maybe you don't understand it and it wasn't meant for you to understand but I'm telling you what God told me he was like look you didn't have time that means you got to be ready in season and out of season what does that look like 
You got to be okay to let God do things unusual in your life. You got to be okay with supernatural encounters in your life. You got to be okay with it. So if God said, go to the car lot tomorrow and get you a new car and you know you 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 know where your credit is and you know what you're trying to do what are you going to do are you going to go to the car lot and get what god tell you to get or are you just going to keep swumbling back and forth let me tell you god blew my mind today and all i'm gonna say is but god i ain't even get in the way of it i just i was the vessel i did exactly what god told me to do and God made it and he's making it happen. And so what I'm telling you, like, just don't get in the way of God. You got to let him flow. Like he was telling me, like, the things that I promise you is coming another way. It's going to come a totally different way. It's coming, but it's coming another way. So the thing is, you have to ask God, even, let me tell y'all, I was in the process of leaving out of my apartment moving and God told me not to move not to move i said okay god and so that was that season two god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot say, ex change but change the, and the courage to change the things i can so when i woke up this morning i opened my eyes i felt so free i felt i felt so relieved i felt so blessed i felt so good and i still feel good and the first thing that god dropped in my spirit was the conversation i had with the person and he was like, how you feeling with that? I was like, God, you know what? Once upon a time, I used to be the type of pe person, I'd be so emotionally attached to why are they thinking like that? Why can't they be happy for me? I was like, God, I, I was laying in the bed. Like when I said, God, I was like, God, I'm so good. Like, I mean, they think their way and I'm going to think my way. And, and, and my way is your way. I can't focus on whether somebody focus on somebody else's opinion about what you just did the only thing i was just telling them like man yo let me tell you how god worked like they didn't they didn't want to hear that but i was okay with that even if they that that wasn't where they were i was fine and i'm telling you even on today even as i blog this man i'm gucci why because at the end of the day nobody got time to be running behind people in their emotions and that was one of the things i said order in balance and the, i'm gonna tell you how god tested me today i was getting upset i was sitting at my desk and i was getting covered getting emails back and back and god was like he was speaking to me accept the things that you cannot change and and and, and be courage be encouraged about the things you can and so god was showing me even through my work y'all i'm telling you it was blowing my mind i was getting frustrated and god was like look it's gonna work out I'll show you by next week, you'll be good. And so I heard the Lord, you know, just peace be still. Like he rested my spirit. I was like, you know what, God, it's okay because this is part of that order and balance. If I didn't know, I wouldn't know because I'll be missing out on my blessing if I didn't pay attention. And you know what he did? I, cal I calmed my spirit down and he spoke to me and he said, now go back and change it. So I went back and I was changing it and I was like, oh, okay, I didn't know. And I said, I don't even recall whether I was training that, but that's okay. It's good. Now I know. So I thought about it and what the comment she said. I was like, oh, okay. Hey, you know, I told myself, I was like, I get it. And I was mad because I still, you know, kept blowing steam. But God was still in the midst of he was speaking to me. He was speaking to me. He was speaking to me. Grant me the, God, grant me the serenity, the peace. Grant me the joy. Grant me, you know, the understanding to accept the things I can't change. And the courage to change the things I can and God spoke. He said, but you can change it. Just go back and do this and I'll make this work. I'll make the provision for it. Like, you'll be able to have this done. I mean, the, the, the when I say the demand came, but God was like in the midst of, he was speaking. He was like, it's going to work out. I'm telling you, all things work together for those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. Meaning that God is purposing you in this season. He's perfecting your path in this season. So I need you to get encouraged. I need you to get encouraged. I need you to get encouraged. You need you to get encouraged about what God is about to do. He's going to blow your mind. I'm telling you, look, my weeping, it was for, they, how they say weeping is for an hour, but joy comes in the morning. And all the things I endured from the beginning of the year to now, God blew my mind today. And I started a reset because we have to reset our mind. We have to reset the way we analyze things, how we perceive things, how we allow the enemy to dilute things in our thought process and that's why it's so important to be careful to who you connect to who you allow to pray for you who you allow to pour into your life and then my leader has said something to me sunday morning she said i don't even know why i'm saying this to you but i'm gonna go ahead and say this and move on and she did she was like god even showing you like you got to be careful to how you let people agitate your spirit 
about things that don't even have to be talked about and i was like oh my god like i literally just i'm like okay god thank you i literally just was saying this i was praying about an interview and i was like god you know what I, I said, I'm so good to it's not funny. I was like, thank you for the revelation. And thank you for that peace. Because you gave me that reinsurance. Like, I went back and it wasn't even worth going back. So, I was like, okay, God, thank you. And so, when he did that, I prayed. I was praying. I said, God, I am okay with you got me and that person in this season right now. I said, I am really good. I said, I thought I was losing out or missing something. But I wasn't missing anything at all. He was showing me. He's like, I will supply your need. I will, I will, be, I will be your friend. I will be your entertainer i will be the person you'll go out to eat with like you don't you don't need nobody really in this season right now which in your life you you can go and do exactly what i need you to do everything you need to do you can just do it by yourself and i was like god you right so when i saw that i was like thank you for changing my heart thank you for resetting my thought process thank you for helping me to bring out such an order and balance to my to my to my place to where i sit so i'm encouraging you god is bringing order and balance in this month like pastor said it was this is a month of birthing the month of the open door the month of you know pushing out whatever and so I did, I did get the charge of evangelism. I did get reaffirmed because I got ordained last year. But I got a, I got reaffirmed this year. Um, and I'm excited because it's different. It, it's a different type of charge. It's a different type of reaffirming and reestablishing. See, he told me he was going to reestablish, restore some things. And he did it. And I thank God. I praise him for what he is doing because... I'm happy. I'm just happy. Um, last year, I suffered through depression. And I went through a lot. Just even after the charge, accepting the, the charge of evangelism over my life. So, I'm telling y'all, this go round. This is what this is. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. And the courage to change the things I can. The ability to do what I have control over. And the things that I can't, just be okay with that. And so, today, I am okay i'm okay with what god is doing i pray that this bless you i pray that this open up your eyes to what he's doing i'm telling y'all less than 24 it wasn't even 48 hours y'all i was licensed and ordained as an evangelist on yesterday and god saw faith in me and that was one of my i'm a bless you openly season so when everybody else didn't want to see me elevate and get there and even through a conversation and i don't even think it was intentional i just think because that person was still in that place of where I used to be and it was still reminded by maybe about the things I said and maybe the things I done and they didn't have any, they haven't moved forward they haven't embraced it to see that you know I told them I said look everything you taught me is not in vain uh, everything that you download in my spirit it never in vain like I'm telling you I'm making you proud because I, I'm like a mere reflector of of you you're you was my foundation and this is just that this is the day this part of where I'm at in my life is just that's a part of my story it's a part of you know the blueprint it's a part of the road map. It's one of them little houses along the uh, yellow brick road, and I'm and I'm off to see the wizard. And God was like, "Okay, I need to stop you in. You need to learn this, and then I'm gonna elevate you in this, and then you are gonna keep going." Because I'm off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of all. I'm off to see God, the wonderful God that He is. So I'm telling you, God is beyond sovereign. Be blessed, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So be blessed know that what god can do for you there's nothing too hard there's nothing that's is nothing hard too hard for god god can work it out so y'all be blessed on today know that i love y'all god loves y'all bet more than i do but i love y'all behind the amount that god loves y'all so peace out y'all have a good night i gotta get in and get some work done